quite frequently I get questions about advertising, how advertising really works. So I'm going to give you the basics of how advertising works. If you can understand this, it's going to save you tons of money on advertising and make your advertising way more efficient and effective. The number one thing that you want to understand about advertising, that advertising is repetition over time. It takes time for an ad to work. Matter of fact, there is a rule in advertising. It's referred to as the rule of seven in advertising. You can Google it. The rule of seven states that an ad must be seen or heard at least seven times before your consumer actually is aware of your ad. So it has to be seen seven times minimum before your consumer is aware that your brand even exists. Now, that's just them becoming aware of it. Some people say that that rule of seven is now the rule of 15. But bottom line, whether it's seven times or 15 times, your ad has to be seen seven times minimum before your brand is now recognized by the consumer. Doesn't mean they're gonna act on it, they're just aware of you. So, with today's technology, you can make that happen much sooner. You can have retargeting. So somebody visits your website, and then they go visit, let's say, Facebook, the same ad appears, because now that ad is following them. They can go to multiple websites, and that ad is able to follow them. So now, that consumer can now recognize your brand that much quicker. Whether it's seven times or ten times, that can happen that much sooner. That's step one. They know who you are. Step two is getting them to trust you. Right? So what can you do to get somebody to trust you? Give them something valuable for free. If it's really valuable and it's for free or maybe low cost, like a dollar or five dollars, then you might get them to opt in or buy from you. You gotta reduce that risk, you gotta make it way valuable, and then you're gonna get a new customer. So getting that customer to buy from you the first time, super hard. Getting them to buy from you the second, third, fourth time, much, much easier than ever before. So repetition over time, depending on your offer. So let's talk about the offer. The number one thing that's going to make somebody buy from you, or I'm sorry, look at your ad, is the offer. So sometimes the headline can be the offer. Now, the headline is one of those elements that's so crucial to advertising. So I want to talk about this for a second. 80% of your ad success is invested in this headline. If you can't get that person to stop and look at your ad, nothing else is going to work, right? So you have to have a great, sexy, compelling, just mind-blowing headline. And sometimes I will spend an hour or two or three coming up with the perfect headline. That's how important it is. Then you have to make a really compelling offer. So here's a really bad offer, 10% off. I can get 10% off almost anywhere. I can walk into a retail store and get 10% off just for asking. Now. One, a good offer might be two for one. Buy one, get one free. If you're thinking, man, I'm gonna be giving away my profits, you're looking at this the wrong way. It's called the, the cost of acquisition. What does it cost you to acquire one good customer? And then the, the other question you need to ask is, what is the average sale of that customer? And then the third, maybe even most important number to know is the long-term value or life term value of that customer, right? So if a customer's average ticket is $100, then any way that you can get them in the door, chances are they're gonna spend close to $100. That's their average. Now, the lifetime value of that customer, so it, it, it depends on how long a client stays with you. So if a client stays with you, let's say five years, and the lifetime value of that customer is $10,000, and you spend $100 or $200 or $500 to get them in the door, you're going to be in the profit. It may take a little while to recoup that, but you can see that 
it's going to work over time. A lot of people want to hurry up and make all their money on the first sale. That's not the way relationships work. That's not the way business works. So repetition over time, depending on the offer, 80% of your ad success is in that headline. Another tip, we've talked about this a little bit, reduce the risk. Man, I don't know you, you don't know me. So how can we get to know each other via business? Well, I'm gonna guarantee my services to you. I'm gonna make it so easy for you to do business with you with me that you're not gonna to have to worry about it. So reduce that risk, give them a 90 day, 60 day guarantee, warranty, something that makes them know that if they give you their money, that you're not going to disappoint them. Look, it's not really so much about the money, it's about the trust. Whether it's a $5 ticket or a $500,000 ticket, they're trusting you. And everybody is ready to be disappointed. So what can you do to enlighten your customers, to give them amazing value? It's within your power. It doesn't take a lot of money. It doesn't take technology. It just means that you're committed to delivering value to your customers. And if you deliver value to your customers, they're gonna come back again and again and again. Lifetime value of the customer. Then they're gonna do this other thing called referrals. They're gonna send people to you. They're gonna become your fans. That's what you want. So, repetition over time, offer, sexy, compelling offer, a headline, and we're gonna reduce the risk. And then last but not least, make sure that every ad that you run, whether it's in print, Facebook, whether it's a newspaper, radio, TV, they, can know, they know how to contact you. I know it sounds overly simplistic, but let me tell you, I've coached a lot of people, I've consulted with big companies and small, and that is a common mistake people leave out is how do they contact you? How, what is the website? How do they get a hold of this offer? All right, so the other tip is maybe you can take your ad and test it in Facebook. Let people know, hey, this, it, which ad is better? This one or this one? It's called A-B testing. Is it A or B? Which one are they going to be more compelled to do business with? Test it like that. The other way that you can test advertising is electronically. Pay-per-click ads are a great way of testing instant results. So if you know it's working on your pay-per-click module or uh, method, then you can try maybe something like print or TV or radio and expand from there. So I hope that this clarifies some things for you. If you have questions or comments regarding advertising, leaving, leave them in the, in the uh, comments below. Please subscribe to my channel, tell your friends, remember you, we're created to succeed.